This is the scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I'm Robert F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> you don't have to believe the lies. You don't have to take sides. You can help me heal the divide. As President of the United States, I'll be standing on business <laughs> and helping the community. I'll be standing on business <laughs> and helping the community. <laughs> okay, you know, when the CIA kills your entire family, that's difficult, but not as difficult as having to spit a sweet 60. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I'm recording. Well, recording? Yep. Everything's moving and going, isn't it? We're good to go. We're ready to start oh, another so episode. What's that? Oh, now it's nice. Massive sonic difference. Yeah, no, it's huge. Massive sonic difference. You have to hear. The massive voice. sonic difference sounds like a cool band. Yeah, dude. We're massive sonic difference. <laughs> real rockers. Real rock. Real rock from sonic. Massive difference. <laughs> <laughs> Already messed it up, dude. What's up, weaklings? What's up, What's up boys, back? ladies, gentlemen, mostly gentlemen. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, welcome. To, yes, mostly gentlemen. Mostly gentlemen. gentlemen. Gentlemen who like to hang out with each other and perhaps occasionally engage in gay sex <laughs> and have a giggle. Of course, have a giggle and have a and laugh I- with the mates, and of course, sometimes pull down their trousers <laughs> and have another man suck on <laughs> and have a, a bit of buggery. <laughs> <laughs> Some man who, when he hangs out with the boys, sometimes he gets into a bit of a kerfuffle. And has a bugger. <laughs> That's the best term for gay sex out there. Buggery? Buggery. <laughs> That's good, dude. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a little gnat in your ear. <laughs> I like that. That'd be a fun way. To, that'd be a fun way to like get away with being in the closet. You just euphemisms. Yeah, go, dude. What did you and Jake do last night, dude? Buggery. F-ing tomfoolery. <laughs> <laughs> goofing around. Yeah, just guys. A couple dudes joshing. Just a little bit of uh, skullduggery. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that word once, and I was like, "Yeah, this is in my head forever." Skullduggery. Skullduggery. What is skull? Is it tomfoolery? Tom, tomfoolery. Buggery. Synonymous. Skullduggery. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? How y'all doing, fellas? Good to see you. We're dude. recording two in a row today. Yeah, we're I putting. We, it, we're I thought we were f- supposed to pretend, dude. Oh, no, we're not. Yeah, you're right. This is a week later. <laughs> <laughs> we're totally not recording one ahead of time because we're going to Austin, Texas. Texas. We're going to Austin, Texas to <laughs> hey, uh, meet a Yoro gang, <laughs> a, the Mother Chip. <laughs> <laughs> all the everyone's like, all these comics moving to Austin. I'm like, it's actually just guys coming over the border. <laughs> dudes coming over the border. I would love to be like a pay regular. So man. So I was thinking, man, like, I, you know, I'd use the whole tunnel to get here. And it was like a long tunnel. And like, I came all this way. And, like, you're really not going to put me on Kill Tony? Like, 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 <laughs> bro, that's, like, man, fucked up and, like, not chill, bro. Like, I'm really trying to do, like, Kill Tony and stuff. Bro, you can't put me on Kill Tony, man. Like, we came a long way. Like, you got my brother can go on the show. He's got no arms, man. Just a full migrant worker trying to do <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Like, yeah, dude, I'd love mm. to be, like, maybe just, like, on the merch ship. Or like maybe it's like <laughs> on the sunset trip. <laughs> Gardini like told me creek he's been, in the cave. Gardini called, told me he's been calling the mothership the Mamacita. Oh, so no, we're on our no, way, there, Mamacita. Dude. Yeah, dude, we're going to fucking Austin, man. We're going to Austin. Wait. I was uh, I was cracking up at the bit. We we're talking about like because uh, <laughs> back when uh when I was first moved to New York City. No, yeah. back a couple years ago, the woke, mm. sh- woke shit was big, mm-hmm. and now you see everybody's like. Yeah, the tides are turning. Oh, Everybody yeah. sees which way the wind's blowing. Oh, yeah. And so you see guys trying to be like, yeah, dude, I'm one of the boys. Uh, but it's yeah, like, yeah. You know, you, you I know, know like, who the fuck you are. Yeah, I know what you <laughs> I know what you fucking said. I, know what you, I saw your post about George Floyd. <laughs> 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 but I like. <laughs> That's so funny. There's like an off person in every crew. A supportive of just, George Floyd boys. You're like, I know what you fucking yeah. said. <laughs> I know what you said about Breonna Taylor. <laughs> 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 I could see your true colors. See right through your fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, you want to be one of the boys? Yeah. Why'd you vandalize my favorite Starbucks? <laughs> I saw what you did it. Where, where is it? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. I'm good. I'm t- oh, so oh, I've been there. A down home guy from Minneapolis. <laughs> okay, well now I know that. <laughs> I was like, I forgot that happened there. <laughs> oh yeah, you're one of the boys. Why'd you throw a brick through the window of the Dog Walker Cafe? <laughs> took stuff out of my favorite Starbucks. <laughs> All gay stuff, my favorite Claire's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, but now the tides are turning. Tides are turning. I've, I've been saying the tides dude, are turning. There's, dude, there's undercover brothers. There's under, dude. I'm telling you, the woke there's mob espionage, bro. The woke mob has moles. Yeah, in groups of the boys. I'm telling yeah. you, I've been loving this. I've been loving this bitch. This yeah, <laughs> this bitch been killing me. But the woke mob's got a mole. <laughs> yeah. Stop going in here. All right, now call him gay. <laughs> <laughs> Shuck on the Miller line. <laughs> you don't know how to shuck a crack open the bottom with your car key. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, cool, dudes. Yeah. That's him trying to act normal. <laughs> yeah, awesome yeah. sauce. Oh, yeah, dude. You guys are uh, f- gay homo. <laughs> just, dude's trying to be. Yeah, what are you, a like, gay tard? Yeah, dude. You guys are. You guys are fucking dumb, man. <laughs> <laughs> just, so just an earpiece. Just, yeah. <laughs> there's just like a fuck. There's a Comedy Central executive in a bunker being yeah. like, "Okay, so Badab, great job today. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you. Great job." <laughs> it could be you love Donald Trump. <laughs> no, no, make it seem like you mean it. Uh, call him forty-five. That's what they call him. They call yeah. him forty-five. You can say four or five. Really, it's more of an abbreviated yeah. version. Tell, say the kicks are fire. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, dude, the kicks are fire though, low key. <laughs> there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of Indian wiggers. It would be funny if it went the other way around. What's that? If you sent like trailer trash white dudes to India, just yeah. made them try to conform. What, white guys trying to be Indian? Yeah, and they're like, "What up, everybody? What is up? <laughs> My name is Brandon. <laughs> hey, yo, I was I, I was thinking you are." You're b- beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was like, half Southern, half Indian. That's yeah, actually pretty yeah. impressive. <laughs> I were thinking you are beautiful. Yeah. Yo, yo, honestly, you're, you're like a beautiful angel. <laughs> <laughs> That's an impressive impression. <laughs> to combine two is hard. You're trying to moonlight in India. It's like a Southern, it's a, it's a real hodgepodge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's hard, dude. You can't combine them, dude. That's tough. <laughs> Yo, yeah, bro, bro, this is honestly fucked up. Like, I'm, I mean, we we don't like we, we don't have clean water. <laughs> <laughs> clean water. <laughs> There's no clean water at the well. It's like mad not chill. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they do that? Though? No, they wouldn't. Indian well, Uyghurs got huge. It had its heyday. Yeah, yeah, it'll come back. I feel like it's I just. Think it's still here. Yeah, I mean, my only, my only take is always like, if you're like an immigrant, what side are you gonna choose? Yeah, the cool side or the fucking gay white side? Yeah, dude. a lot cool more money side. in the gay white. Yeah, there's a lot of money in the cool side too. There's a lot of money everywhere here, dude. Yeah, they really Indians are. are crushing it. They really are statistically the best earners. I think. Yeah, I would say as a minority, they're I'm... the model. <laughs> <laughs> huh? When you say it that way, <laughs> I swear, if you look up like average Indian immigrant income. You will be put on a list, but also now they're dunking on us. It's like they make like a hundred two grand or something. It's just like crazy. One twenty three. All right, all right. Now, Joe Jacks, look up the average income, average, American, average household, average, average American, household you know. income. Yeah, in America, that might be three x, eighty one, one and a half x, fifty percent increase for the Indians. Yeah, that's pretty good. Terpsters, that's pretty good. Dude. <laughs> Ter- Terpsters are on fire They're fucking dude. nasty with it dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. <coughs> Good for them I mean I think it's just like a matter of like skill It's like not like I mean there's probably some re- Like in India You know what I mean Do you think there's a lot of money in bodega shop running I probably dude Right It's gotta be I mean It's like they all well, what's, like, what's the markup on like Zins and M&M's I think it's just like uh, I don't know It's probably pretty In New York In a Manhattan one It's crazy yeah, But also the fucking, rent's Like a billion Some of these are like Seven bucks a, a pop dude. Yeah yeah they're That and just like You buy I don't know if, if I buy like a soda In Manhattan It's like 375 I'm like get the fuck Out of here Yeah it's crazy you Buy like a 20 ounce soda In Queens It's like two bucks You buy it here It's like 380 And you're like What the fuck I That know, like dude. sandwich place It's like a good deli Near your place It's like a good Bodega sandwich place You know And I'm like This is like Probably like fifty percent more expensive. Oh, dude, we got lunch the other day. I'm like, oh, we're not. I, I've been like not drinking this week, so I'm like, oh, we're not getting drinks. Yeah, we're just getting like a little lunch. Yeah, I got like a poke bowl, and the lady got a, uh, I don't know, like a salad, it, yeah. and we got a guac. It was chips like sixty bucks, dude. With tip, I think it was in like ninety eight. Oh my god, dude. it was crazy. I'd burn down the place. <laughs> it's insane. I would burn myself. I'd light myself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> <Something> <laughs> <laughs> I was doing, I was, it'd be funny been, if self-immolating really, was really fast. Yeah, <laughs> if you just vaporized. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dude, I've been a. Uh, I've been. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I've been having suicidal ideation, but I probably was, <laughs> first I had the self immolating thing, and then earlier I was saying I would love if I could shoot myself in the head without dying, right? For comedic effect, <laughs> that it didn't hurt, and you could yeah. just like plug it back up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like, bothers you. Yeah, like like uh, who's hosting the Daily Show this week? I'm like, ah, uh, Margaret Cho. <laughs> like, blow Some my small up. thing that annoys yeah, the shit out of you. Something that kind of annoys me. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like trying to get into the subway. You're like, ah, my crowd's out. The crowd's kind of shitty. <laughs> you're like, you're like, yeah. Anyway, so uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> be great. Something just your first joke doesn't work. It's like, the oh, ultimate. Really? It's the ultimate punchline. That's the great like Larry David thing you would do is just storm off. Yeah, such a baller move, dude. Oh my he would God. do his. He would do a bit and then just go. You, you people are horrible. <laughs> and they just leave. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Cannon did that, and I was running a show with some people, and some lady heckled Cannon, and she was being really annoying. And Cannon was like two minutes into a set and stoned, and he was like, "I don't want to." And he just like <laughs> he walked just out and left. And I, my, the, my friends who I was running with were like, "That was kind of like that was unprofessional." I'm like, "Dude, that would ruled." Yeah, the, I'm fully support. I wield that power. I was like, "You haven't wanted to do that like 50 times." So much. Yeah. You ever have to, a longer set? <laughs> you're like 12 minutes into 25, and you're like, "Oh God, dude!" If there's enough, I'm leaving at 16. Bye. You know, that'd be so nice. If there are enough like Urban Outfitters leather jackets in the crowd, oh, I'm like, dude. I, why do? Why am I going up? I don't. know. Yeah, there's got to be something you can do to those people. No, not talk to them. Yeah, it's not not right. have them seen. It's you. Probably the solution is just not engage with it at all. Yeah, dude. And to move to Austin, Texas, probably is probably the best move. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we should do. That. Dude, that guy. Remember that guy came up to us at Brooklyn. And he didn't. He, this guy doesn't know me very well. Mm-hmm. And he goes, "Hey, man, do you like Austin?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah." He's like, "Do you like doing comedy there?" I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "I knew you would." I was like, really? he's like, he's like, I was there. There's so many bros. It was like a bro fest, and I was like, I think Luke Tuma would really like this. Like, that's insane. <laughs> it's like a guy I don't, don't even know. Be, know him in passing. Yeah, he's. I know him like a little. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I'm like, that's <laughs> very funny. Spot on, dude. Yeah, it's just kind of a masculine place. Dude, dude Texas. I'm and fucking... the, New York is kind of chicky. It's very chicky. Yeah, it's chicky. It is chicky. Even the dudes are chicks. I'm so yeah, yeah. The dudes are chicks. Ugh, like God. an East Village young dude drinking. I'm like, it's a girl. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'll hear guys talk about crying and stuff. Like, it's like one thing. <laughs> so gay. Like, I'll be like, yeah, dude, me and James were hanging out last week, and it, it was like, he was going through a rough thing, dude. He was crying. I'm like, did someone die? Like, nah, <laughs> he's just like feeling down. I'm like, man. <laughs> I'm not used to you're this. Like crying in front of another man. <laughs> You gotta cry in front of another fucking man. Oh, you gotta cry in front of even I gotta kill you. We didn't raise you like this. Who what what you fuck up? Will you talk to your mother like this? What's going on? You gotta be strong, man. Yeah. Me and what? your other father made it clear to you. We I'm didn't want you crying in these. I've definitely things. cried in front of the boys, dude. No, I don't look. One on one, like I'm opening up to my dog. There's a couple times I think there's a couple times when it's acceptable to cry in front of the boys. Okay, go ahead. One, we're all watching a tearjerker movie together. <laughs> That's the gayest example you gave. No, I was I think, not expecting no. that. Dude, we're watching Pearl like, Harbor. Dude, Marley and me's on. If you and me are watching Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor? No, we're going to cry. There's no way. That goofy-ass movie. Go ahead. Okay, dude. Well, number, <laughs> I, I maintain. Number one, okay. watching Pearl Harbor with the boys. I'll watch a... Acceptable to cry. Number two... Psychedelic trip. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. 100% acceptable time to cry. But that's like a single stoic mushroom to you. Like, you're my best friend. Number three, three, Buffalo Bills playoff loss. (laughs) These are times that it's acceptable. Have you cried at a Buffalo Bills playoff loss? Um no, but I, I I think I've told you this. I I my face so visibly sad that uh, Autumn, Autumn cried. She cried <laughs> twice. Seven, twice. We lost to the Vikings two years ago, yeah. and then this year when we lost to the Chiefs, she just looked at me. She's like, "No!" I started crying. I just my fucking my mug was so depressing. It's so funny you care that much about it. I, I couldn't care. I don't care about anything more. Yeah, I know that's wild. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I have a sports team like that. I'm like a fan of like, but I'm from Tampa. It's not really the same. I know. I mean, it's Tampa's all we a have. sports town in that we're good at it, but I don't know if we have that many like diehards. No, we. I'm get, I'm diehard to the point with the Bills where if they fuck up again, I think I'm done watching football. You might kill yourself. I'm gonna get off of. The, I'm just gonna this stop. Is you, it's like you at Scrabble, dude. I've been watching basketball. It's lovely. We don't have a team. I don't have a team. I'm like Luke is going off tonight. Wow, SGA is yeah. having quite a game. Yeah, it's great. I'm like, what a pass from Jokic. I could really watch it as like an observer. I'm like a boy that was landed here from Mars, and I'm watching a sport <laughs> for the first time. It's it's beautiful. Yeah. 
Whereas with the Bills, I have so much invested in it, dude. It's so emotional. If they don't draft a receiver in the first round, I, I want to be on record here. I'm going to do something real bad in Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> something bad is going to happen. Alleys if we fucking draft an edge rusher, I'm going to lose my shit. Yeah, you think they will? Is that the other option? Our, our Brandon Bean, the GM, mm-hmm. has a he, he He's loved, got a hard on for edge rushers. Hard on, dude. He drafted two back to back. Okay. He drafted Greg Rousseau, who's nasty, mm-hmm. but then he drafted Boogie Basham next. Fuck, I don't even know who Boogie Basham plays for. And Boogie Basham is a crazy name. If your name's fucking Boogie, you better be good. You better be DeMarcus Cousins. You Boogie better be Cousins, amazing. Dude. Yeah. Better yeah. be A Boogie with the or hoodie. Booger. <laughs> <laughs> or Booger. What was the guy? Booger McFarlane? Yeah. Remember him back in the day? He was a Tampa guy. Remember when there were like four guys named Boomer? <laughs> yeah, Boomer Esaias and Boomer. <laughs> Southern, pe- <laughs> Southern <laughs> people just ran out of nicknames at one. Uh, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Chris? Uh, you're Boomer. Who's the guy who goes, what? Chris Berman. Berman, okay. Yeah, he's, yeah. Is he bo- he's not Boomer. Nobody circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> what does that mean? That's what he says. Is that says where you go home? We'll circle, circle the wagons. Circle the wagons is like uh, you can't count them out. Oh, okay, nice. Nobody circles the wagons, wagons. like the Buffalo Bills. What? I like when he does that. Yeah, it's great. No, that guy's awesome. I watched these old, he used to call Chris baseball. Berman? Oh, it's great. Baseball's like, I mean, Joe, what's his name? Sucks. What's his name? Uh, fuck, why am I forgetting his name? Oh, Joe Buck. It stinks. Brutal. Dude, it'll be like a game-winning home run. It'll be like, deep to the left, it's gone. Have you ever seen the ones where Joe Buck just says the person's name over and over? Justin Jefferson will catch, like, make a one-handed grab in double coverage and run it for, like, 90 yards, and he just goes, Jefferson! 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 <laughs> he just says his name. <laughs> that I'm guy's like, in everything, too. Almost anybody could do Do you remember he, had like a, he tried to do a late-night show? Do you remember Artie Lang? Yeah, I know Artie Lang. Uh, no, you, I'm talking about the Artie Lang thing. What happened with Artie Lang? I Joe think, Buck? Yeah. Artie Lang went on Joe Buck's show and oh, just yes! tormented him. So good. It was awesome. So good. Could we watch that? I don't know. I mean, is it fucking... If they're copywriting Joe old, Buck's yeah, old talk show, you should be ashamed Joe of Joe Buck's show, Artie Lang? Yeah, this is unreal. I mean, this How is long really is long. It? We'll watch a little bit of it and turn it off. Let me know if you want to skip to it. Yeah, Joe Buck live. First, an actor who you oh, may have Oh, fucking Paul Rudd is there? And I love you, man. Tonight from SNL, Jason Sudeikis. Thank you, Passes Clowns. Linger. <laughs> Jason, would you like to follow that? Uh, nah. Okay. By the way, I'm a, I'm a Giant fan, so I hate the Cowboys. Michael, don't kick my ass, but I hate the Cowboys. <laughs> By the way, you owe me money. I lost a lot of fucking money on you, motherfucker. <laughs> There's a guy in Staten Island named Bobo who you owe money to. <laughs> But uh, as a Yankee fan and a, and a well and, and a Giant fan and a well-known homophobic, <laughs> I'm also a well-known homophobic. It's it's like a it's like a white trash gift from God that the fucking Cowboys have a quarterback whose last name rhymes with homo. <laughs> Say that shit on Angel Dust. I know I've tried like Tony Homo. <laughs> and he's dating a fat chick. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Simpson started out looking like Jessica Simpson. Now she looks like Chris Farley from those gap sketches. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him, fuck the Cowboys. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, dude! Holy Jason, shit. Let's go. talk about fame, and we talk Joe about Joe Jackson, can you pause it? Dude, this is so sick. Dude. I'm going to watch all this later. Dude, are you like fresh off a two-week heroin vendor? <laughs> she starts dropping gay jokes and fat chick jokes on Joe Buck's talk show. On Joe Buck's talk show? Dude, yeah, I remember watching like the premiere of it when I was like a kid for some reason. I don't know. I was just watching. I was like, this is so bad. Oh, it's terrible. There's like a sketch with like Bob Costas that's like horrible. I was like, oh no. It got off after like three episodes. It was just done. They had him like, do nope. sketches? Dude, there's like a Cole. He does like a monologue. Like it's like fucking, <laughs> like he's fucking Carson. It was crazy. It was really <laughs> oh, weird. Damn, dude. He's so like doing weird. monologue jokes that are bombing and then it cuts to like Bob Costas does some bit about, I don't even remember what it was, but that bombs. It's like, oh God. Why? What executive was like? You know what we should show? Like, look at Joe, Joe Buck's Buck. comedy chops. We should show Joe Buck and De- Bob Costas. They're doing a good job calling these games. Let's get a little more personality. Yeah, I know. Let's put him in some sketches. Yeah, let's see him. Let's see him goof around a little. Yeah, bit. I mean, like real sports is good enough. Just leave it at that. Real sports yeah. is great. I, I think love real, real sports. sports is Brian Gumble. I love it, dude. It's, it's great. great. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. You know who? You know what Brian Gumble likes? What? He likes Dune. 
Really? Yeah, there's like How an the old interview. How the fuck do you know Brian Gumbel likes Dune? Because I've been watching like interviews with the author of Dune, and he like knows all, and like Brian Gumbel's like nerding out with the author about Dune. Wow. Yeah, dude. Interesting. I'm telling you. Who wrote Dune? Frank Herbert. What else did he write? Some other That's pile it. of shit? <laughs> what? <laughs> fuck you, dude. <laughs> Some other pile of shit, dude. <clears throat> no, he's really just, he only wrote, he wrote other science fiction books, but he's just known for Dune. I gotta finish a damn book. I, yeah. I, I, I'm yeah a big, you know what? Step one, finish a book. Then you can tell me what books are good or bad. <laughs> I'm a big half a book guy. I'm halfway through Moby Dick. It's never gonna happen. Yeah, I know. It's never gonna happen. Well, that's a tough fucking, it that's sucks. a tall order, dude. Dude, it sucks. I was really thought I could do it. You it loved sucks. it at first. There's like, okay, the thing about it is like when there's plot, it's amazing, and then it'll just be... 40 pages of him describing whales incorrectly. And I'm just like, this blows. He'll, dude, there was one, like, literally I got to a chapter. I was reading this great chapter about, he's telling a story about running in a Moby Dick. Uh, and then uh, the next chapter was called On Ancient Pictures of Whales. And I literally, I'm home alone reading at one in the morning. I went, ugh, like audibly groaned. Because I'm like, I'm not reading this. Yeah. They came to a point where I go, I'm, not, I'm just not going to read it. Yeah, I yeah. refuse. I simply refuse. I got that going on with Kerouac right now where the book's good, but I could tell it's right now the beginning of Desolation Angels is just notes of his from like a journal where he was just losing his mind yeah. and uh, in a deep depression and stuff. And I'm like, I, I have a feeling it's going to go on for another like 30 pages. Oh, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. I got, I'm not, I'm on the journey. I'm not that depressed right now. <laughs> I'm a little, I can't, I can't hit the void here. I'm like, I'm, I'm Why like, are you depressed? I'm not, de- I mean, you know, what's I'm wrong not, with you? What are you fucking crying about? Don't worry about it's me, the dude. worst thing. Your friend opens up to being a bit depressed. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> just Why? A, that's just dad. <laughs> a father. No, there's no, dude. Did I ever tell you about the time I told my parents I was disillusioned? What no? What do you? <laughs> what in, in, in what way? I was uh, coming back from college. I had just done a uh, junior year of college. I had one more year in college. Your dad installs HVACs <laughs> in Florida. He's like a fucking. He grew up in like. Didn't he grow up in like a fucking uh, in like a garage? Yeah, eating like banana peels out of the garbage. <laughs> he that bad? He did he had like food. He had like a tough life. Though. No, he grew up and with you, no AC. You came back Florida. from college and told him you're disillusioned. Yeah. See, that's the type of thing like child abuse definitely messes. <laughs> like sometimes if you get, if he just if you just hey, I'm disillusioned, you just, he just hit, hit, you, hit me in the face, <laughs> hits you with an air it's conditioner. Like he wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he just throws a compressor at my head. Okay, why'd you tell me you're disillusioned? Because I was just sad about college and it didn't mean anything to me. <laughs> this is such white boy shit. Yeah, I was. I was there. I bet I'm not white even. Boy shit. I'm not talking down to you. I've been there. And I was talking because I was thinking about like, you know, it's ironic. I was looking at Emerson. I was like thinking about transferring to like a liberal arts school because I felt like weird in this like state school i felt like uh emerson dude yeah dude go owls i think you don't even know dude how long were you there seven months (laughs) dude 18 (laughs) sorry my bad uh (laughs) did you get your associate's degree no i have no i have no degrees oh look at you two colleges zero degrees zero degrees bro he frozen because he has zero degree bro (laughs) (laughs) he froze because he has zero degree bro (laughs) see look at that ice on him look at that ice on him (laughs) anyways so i you know i (laughs) I it was just hating college and bored, and it was really easy because it's a fucking English degree, and it was just like a joke. And I could just sleep through and smoke through the whole fucking experience, and uh, it's not like I was crushing puss and having a fun time that way. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I felt my education to be lacking. Yeah. And I was like, this is stupid, and I thought it would be something else, and that's why I felt disillusioned. What did you think college would be? I thought I'd like learn smart people shit and meet like fucking crazy interesting like-minded people and that's so funny yeah you it's like on the movies yeah is it i, thought it was I just feel like you go to a philosophy drinking. course and then there's a girl and oh you wanted like a romantic uh sapiosexual experience yeah i wanted to be sapiosexual <laughs> Damn, dude. Uh, yeah dude <laughs> and you, that's so funny you were like i hope i have a sapiosexual experience <laughs> at the university <laughs> of central, central florida. florida all right you know what Looking back at it now, it's got a student. Dude, you're, you're like, you're like on, you're like riding Space Mountain. You're like, where are the like-minded? Yeah. I'm just ta- opening it up to Mickey Mouse. Like, I don't know, man. It's just like, he's like, oh, I got bread there, brother. <laughs> oh, all the bitches just want Jock Chads now. They just want you to have big muscles and a big cock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not you, the supreme gentleman. You should show up, shoot up the mall of <laughs> 
Hey, Christoph, you should shoot up the <laughs> It's just Mickey Mouse, like, with Elliot Roger takes in my head. <laughs> They're all Chance and Stacey's. <laughs> Christoph, there's an AMC theater off my drive. Why don't you go in there and air it out? <laughs> the Dark Knight Rises is opening this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mickey, down. Mickey Mouse is the eternal dialogue of the shooter. Elliot Rogers. <laughs> every, Orla- every Orlando shooter. <laughs> Those right gays on. have had it too good for too long. <laughs> yes, Mickey Mouse, yes. <laughs> hey, Christoph, here's some bright new spirits. Why don't you go to Publix and make it rain? <laughs> <laughs> the streets were on red with their blood. Fill the cashiers with hot lead, Christoph. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it was like. So I felt disillusioned. <laughs> I felt a little disillusioned that way. Okay. And, and what uh, did you say to you when you said to your dad? I say to my dad uh, and my mom, I was like, did you guys, when you were young, ever feel, like, disillusioned? Am I getting uh, disillusioned? What are you talking about? My mom goes, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, they instantly just, like, interrogate me. Like, what the fuck are you on about right now? And I was like, I don't know. Just, like, I just feel like there's no, like, purpose or meaning to, like, what I'm doing right now in college. It just feels like all a big waste, you know? And then... uh my dad goes, you know what really helps with that? And I was like, what? And he goes, getting a job. <laughs> That's great. I love that. That's great. And my mom goes, yeah, get a job. <laughs> well, yeah. You can pay for your own college. Maybe it won't feel so meaningless. That's great. That's what they gave me shit for. They're like, we're paying for it. Yeah. You're paying for it and you think it's meaningless. I kind of Why don't you pay for it for yourself? You find a lot more fucking meaning in it. Kind of with the rents on this one. Yeah. Kinda kinda no, they're probably the correct. They're probably correct. Yeah. I mean, it's such a privileged young guy thing. I know. I, I did the same thing. Don't, don't, just don't, don't get so defensive. I do the same thing. <laughs> Searching for a meaning is like, uh, that's such like a middle class 18 year old white boy thing. Yeah, no, it is. See, you're not supposed to know the fucking meaning. You're, not supposed, to, you're supposed to be busy enough where you don't think about it. Well, that, the fact that, that it's devoid of meaning just shows that it's at least easy. Yeah, I also. No, I they, mean, you could suffer in meaningless turmoil, maybe, but most people who are really suffering are trying to survive, so there is a lot of meaning involved in it. 100%. Survival is, me- is meaning. It's the only meaningful thing there is. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Dude, you're supposed to think about the meaning of life like once a year at a bonfire go, or man. like, you know, you're swimming in the ocean or something and you're supposed to have those thoughts. Like once a Not year you get a moment. baked out of your mind. If you're if it's a, just a Tuesday afternoon and you're thinking about the meaning of life, you need more to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. You don't have enough to do. Yeah. You're waxing too much. Yeah, dude. That's probably true. There's no Puerto Rican single mothers. Like, what does this all mean? Like, yeah, well, who like made not us like of that kind of no. <laughs> <laughs> the shape of their Puerto Rican the shape head. of their Puerto Rican heads. <laughs> <laughs> shape like a plantain, <laughs> tubular like a plantain. <laughs> it's a very specific head shape of Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. Like What's a, that called? <laughs> a Puerto, Puerto Rican girls like <laughs> clocking in at Best Buy. <laughs> She's like, I lo- I'm feeling like disillusioned. I like, with like, I like disillusioned. It's like I'm selling people these TVs, but it's like, what is the TVs for? Like, <laughs> would that make them happy, or are they like just like a fuck boy who needs more shit in the house? <laughs> Dude, a lady like that at Best Buy. Yeah. Mama mia. She's working at Goldstone Creamery. Yeah, what a beautiful. So, what is it like? Does it matter if it's like one scoop or two scoop or it's three like, scoop? Like, it's at like, the end of the day, you're going to die, motherfucker. Like, like, do you like really it. need two scoops instead of one? It's like, like it. It's like, do I even love it? <laughs> this one's got to have it. That's just like desperate. No, dude, that's why There's no shit. point. <laughs> Welcome to Coldstone. <laughs> do you remember they sing at Coldstone? Ugh. Ugh. I love ice cream. You couldn't make me. No. Not for a million dollars. Over my dead body. Over my dead, lifeless corpse. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. <laughs> you know? Did you ever, do you, uh, I don't know if you ever, you lived in Florida. You ever stayed at Disney World? Mm-mm. I, went, I went with my, my buddy's family, had like a little scratch, so they took like a family vacation, they brought uh-huh. me, and then we were like 14 at the time, so old enough to be bastards. Sure. And every time you come back, we stay in like a Disney fucking hotel. hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Every time you come back through the little uh, gate toll thing, oh, God. they go, welcome home. Welcome home. They say welcome home. And they do it really like peppy. <laughs> right? We pulled up like that fourth time we had pulled back in for, you know, that week. And the lady's getting ready to say, my buddy just pops his head out the window and goes, welcome home. <laughs> <laughs> on just tormenting this woman. <laughs> yeah, this probably mentally handicapped woman who got a greeting job at Disney. Dude, I my buddy uh, worked at Disney as a videographer, and he was telling Filming me the rituals. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> the child sacrifices? Dude, he, so he was, telling, he was explaining Disney adults to me. Oh. Because a lot of the people that go, apply to work for Disney, they're like high-level Disney adults. Like They love it so yeah, much. They want to be part of There's the so thing. much of that. I worked at Universal for two seconds. It was like that. And I'm like, this yeah. is so bad. So I talked to him about it. it. It makes sense. He was like, a lot of them are like hardcore Christians. Oh, yeah. He's like, they're like Christian kids. Dude, I saw this video. It was like, we're Disney Christians. Of course we don't go to the this one because that's the devil. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you freaks? <laughs> She's a lady Christ. working at Universal who won't step near Harry Potter. Yeah, like. literally shit like that. I saw, they're psychos. True psychos. Dude, there, I saw this video about this guy who was like living in like like abject bad poverty. And, it, and he had five kids and he lived in a motel in Kissimmee. Near Disney, he worked as like a greeter near Disney, and he had five children, and they're living in a motel. Yeah, I mean, and like I'm like telling my dad about this, about how sad it was. I told my dad like, yeah, this guy's you know he's so poor, he works as a greeter, he has five kids, you know. And my dad goes, some people are so fucking stupid. That's great. <laughs> That's great. I was like, what? He's like, you have kids, you work as a fucking greeter, you have five of them. Were you an idiot, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I got an Uber in Orlando one time, and the guy I was talking to the guy, and he's like, where are you from? I'm like, I was like, oh, Buffalo. He's like, me too. I'm from Grand Island. And that's like right next to where I grew up. Mm-hmm. I was like, dude, I'm from Niagara Falls. That's crazy. You know, how, you know, how'd you make your way down here? And I'm thinking we're going to like, you know, bond over the bills, blah, blah, blah. What's your favorite chicken wing spot? Yeah. And he literally goes, me and the missus love Disney so much, we figured why not move down here full time? And I was like, okay. And I had like 20 minutes left. I'm like, I'm in the car with the mentally ill person. <laughs> and he goes, figured out, why not move down here full time? And I'm trying to like change the subject like, <laughs> i was like how's working for uber he's like enough to get a full-time ticket year round to the parks oh and like, god, god. And i was like oh it's like but it's a good gig he's like is it a good gig <laughs> tell me how working on your own time and making 564 dollars a week before taxes sounds and i was like that sounds horrible that's not very much money at all <laughs> it's terrible it's 20 grand a year <laughs> he's, like, completely disconnected. he's like making 20 grand a year and like 10 of it's going to epcot <laughs> 10 of it's going to try the sushi in japan i mean yeah and then yeah dude it's so sad and then they look at this company with this like create it's religion it's religion yeah. it's religion i like universal better because there's not really I, I know you work there and there are some creeps but there aren't like it's not, it's not as bad. Adults. It's not as bad. And I got fucking Connor McNutt came and visited me, and he it was mid pandemic, and we were he was just like depressed, and uh-huh. I was like, dude, Florida rules. So he came down, and his one thing was he wanted to go to Universal. So I was like, fuck it, dude. We got fucking tuned up at Harry Potter World. Oh yeah, drinking the uh, whatever the beer butter beer. They have boozy butter beers. Yeah, it's like whatever the beer is or whatever they drink. Okay. in Harry I don't Potter, know. I couldn't tell you. It's beer. I'm glad and then that I don't know. But we went to the uh, the Simpsons. They had a Duff's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember we were drinking the Duff's. the Duff's beer. Yeah, the Duff's beers are great. They were nice and they beers. serve them like double high beers. You know, they're like they're $20. huge beers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember they're huge beers. We were just getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we were just fucked up at Universal. <laughs> nice, great. dude. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a great experience. Yeah, those butter beers are gross. Like the non-alcoholic ones. So I hope, yeah. No, this is all booze. Okay, because the butterbeer there is like, butter. it's like syrup mixed with cream soda. It's so Ugh. gross. I'm God. like, dude, this is like, it, my stomach hurts thinking about it. Ugh, God. It's like biting into a, a block of sugar. Dude, you see some real fatties at those amusement parks. Dude, they're parks. wheeling some around. Fucking they're whales. wheeling and dealing. It's funny, those are like a big part of the park, and the, it's like, you can't even do anything. You can't there. get on, you can't get what, on do you any look rides? at it? You just look at it. <laughs> You can't even do the carnival games. You're so fucking fat. You, the size you can't of, even squirt a gun. You can't even get out of your rascal under the chair. You're the size of the Kilimanjaro. Right? <laughs> yeah, like, dude, you're, you're fucking gigantic. You're going <laughs> to melt into the fucking bumper cars, dude. They're just going out of a bumper. They're rubbing their <laughs> body on <laughs> on the bumper car track. <laughs> their love handles are bumping into the other cars. <laughs> 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 They're just pinched between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's some gnarly motherfuckers there. Some real fatties, dude. Some crazy fatties, dude. I mean, there's something about that place florida has some fatties but not as many as i thought there's more fatties in texas there's yeah, a lot worse. of fatties in the Ohio. south is worse yeah there's some like i mean there's a lot of like fucking you go to miami like almost it's not that at all florida there's not too many here everybody's lean in new york it's very similar to like europe yeah whereas in florida you have fatties but then you also have yeah. guys that are in perfect shape you have like jacked like fitness model trt looking guys. crazy looking guys yeah yeah or just guys that are sh- like completely shredded do you think jacked girls are ever hot no, I'm not into it. Have you seen Lean Beef Patty? No, show me her. What do you think of Lean uh, Beef Patty? Joe Jacks, please. Lean Beef Patty, woman. Let's Go see. Go to her Instagram. Would you? 
She's a little big, dude. She's got quite the delts on. Dude, her. she's huge. No, man. I would. I understand. I'm not. I, I'm not. No judgment. That's, <laughs> that's close. But she's got some delts on her. I dude. know. She's so strong. Yeah, this is too much. Look, yeah, her quads are giant. No, that's this that's is too crazy. much. This is crazy. <laughs> this, is, this is insane, dude. Look at the this tattoo. This is like a new. Look at, she looks like Jason Momoa. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> a tribal tattoo on her side. Yeah, she dude. Looks huge, dude. Cover this... the face there. That's a dude. Yes. Dude, go like no, this. No, they have boobs. Bro, cover the face. No, I see the boobies. Dude, cover the face. I'm covering the face, dude. Tell me that's not Christian McCaffrey's body. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. No, nah, I would. Okay, what do you do? You like the muscle? Would she be hotter with less muscles, or do you like the muscles? I don't know. It's a good question. I do think she's really, an attractive woman who happens to be very fit. Yeah, but there's a but she's jacked though. Yeah, she's yoked. Yeah, she's fucking ripped. That's chill there. See her in the right? blue. Look at her in the blue. That's crazy. Isn't no, that wild? Too big. No, I keep trying to find a version of her that's not that big. That's her when just, she was like thin. She's too yoked. No, no. I can no, see it no. if you like the idea of getting like dominated. No, dude, it. no. Yeah, I can see that if you want like no. a girl to bitch you out. No. Just toss you around the room like a call doll. me gay. Yeah. Tug on your red hair until you just shut up. That Have you ever had a lady lot. try to do that? What? Be mean to you? Oh, like dominate? Yeah. No, I would hate that so much. <laughs> Holy f- no. What the fuck? You, did you have that? Did you freak out? No, I would, though. Did I tell you the stripper DM'd me? No, what happened? It was She first texted me, uh, I think something, and I think I replied, and then she was like, bark for me, pretty boy. Ew. Then, oh, uh, yeah. And then I did it. No! <laughs> did you bark? <laughs> I gave her one bark. In Wait, the, in the did voice. you text bark? No, no, I, I, I sent you a voice memo. You voice memo bark? Bark? <laughs> <laughs> bark? This is when I was single and just like, whatever. Wow, dude. Yeah, no, and she ended up uh, ca- like calling me a bunch of times throughout the day, and I picked up at like 1 a.m. because I was trying to sleep, and yeah. she was just really trashed like at work. And she was <laughs> oh, like, I was like, where oh, I was at the strip, strip club, <laughs> yeah. And just she was like, I just like funny guys. Like I'll fly you out here. Like come on, I just think you. I'd follow you for so long. And then her friend is over there being like, Why are you calling him? Like stop! I told you not to. Don't fly a white boy out. Here. <laughs> was she African American? No, no. But the person talking was, or uh, she was just wow. like, Don't fly a guy out here. That's stu- I told you not to. And she's like, Shut up, dude. If I did want to, if I was a jacked lady and I wanted to sub out a guy, you'd be perfect. Joe yeah, Jax. dude, you'd be pegged out. I was kind of into it. being told to bark. On Honestly, did a little something to me. Dude, yeah, you like that. I was, I was a little bit like, dude, yeah, okay, mommy. If a girl told me to bark, I'd be like, dude, no. <laughs> I'd be like a petulant. I'd be it was, it was a DM. I, it was, you know, it wasn't like a command. No, nah, you fucking, you're a sub, dude. There is a famous porn star that uh, uh, sent me a request one time. Whoa, what was her name? I'll t- tell you later. Well, 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 just bleep it out. Uh, no way. Look her up. <laughs> I know. All right, look her up. Look her up. Right, look her up. Bleep it. I don't. Want yeah, no. We'll bleep it out. I just want to know what she looks like, dude. She's been in some bangers. Yo, that's a classic looking she, one. She, Great actress. Big head. But she uh, framed it. All right, she framed it. Do you want to fuck? I was I was already with my lady at the time, so the answer was no, regardless. But she framed it. Do you want to fuck on my OnlyFans? And I was like. Is interesting. Is that like your sex life now where you can't? That would suck if, because I bet some of these girls are like, you can't do it unless we film it. And if you're like, I don't want to be a fucking porn star. Yeah. I don't want to be in a porn. No, I wouldn't want to do like, that. Like, if I was single and even like some porn star I thought was really hot was like, do you want to bang me on my OnlyFans? Yeah, like, right. I don't want people. What if, what if I know a guy and he subscribes mm. to that? Or what if a guy likes my comedy? Yeah. Now he sees me banging you? I don't want that. No, I would, that, couldn't, that would be terrible. What a nightmare. That. that would be bad for that. I That's also would crazy. just hate the experience of actually doing that. It's also crazy to me that they're just like expect... I mean, how many guys have just entered amateur porn because they wanted to bang a lady? Like yeah, it's definitely happened a lot. Because it, one of these porn chicks is like, I only fuck on my OnlyFans. Oh, they're like, well, I might as well monetize this situation. Ugh. It's disgusting. See what I'm saying? Horse. Disgusting. What if you didn't show your face? Yeah, what if you wore a mask? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Biden mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, did you what see that? What was that? Flicked a little. Oh, you flicked his in? Flicked his in on me, dude. Very nice. Came okay, on. <laughs> <laughs> if I wore a Biden mask, <laughs> dude, I don't think I want to be filmed banging. No. Have you ever no. filmed it? Yeah, yeah, but I like that's for me and the, the missus. See, I'm like, I've never filmed it. 
And I don't really have any ambitions to do so. Don't you feel like... What, am I going to jack off to myself later? Do you do that? Uh, no, but it could be like foreplay down the line with your lady. You, what, you put it, along pop it in the VHS? I knew a, I knew a dude. You, <laughs> might, you might know the guy. Oh, okay. I'm not even gonna, we're not even believing this one. I'll, yeah, tell, yeah, you, I'll yeah. tell you after. I knew a do- dude who was hiding cameras in his room. And he would bring ladies home, and he was banging them mm. on the camera. Joe Jax? <laughs> it was Joe Jax. It was definitely. It was in his teddy bear. Joseph Jax. Yeah, yeah, you haven't filmed, but you've been filmed. When we <laughs> Everybody knows you're gay, Christoph. No. That one time you broke, dude. That, that, that's dude, what guy, Joe would do. He'd suck me off and go. Everyone knows you're gay. Dude, a guy told me that at a, at a like a comedy club. And he was just like... Like a comic? He he told you that he did this. Yes. And he was telling me, he was like, dude... And he was framing it like it's a bad habit. He's like, I'm like, dude, that you're going to... That's like a federal crime. And that's he's like, like illegal. I'm like, that's a super crime. Going, <laughs> yeah, like, that's really he was bad. Going, yeah, I really should stop. I'm like, this is not like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, you're going to go to jail forever. Dude, who was your friend? <laughs> so I'll tell you later. Joe Jack? <laughs> Joe Jack. <laughs> I've been trying not to say his name, dude. He's right there. I just I'm trying to think of the funniest guy who it could be. <laughs> Emo Phillips. It's <laughs> <laughs> a crazy. Folk. Jeff Osmus. <laughs> <laughs> I've been filming girls. I've been filming girls. I've been filming them. <laughs> <laughs> Every video is nine seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I busted. No, I, 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 no, I how got, crazy God, I know who that is. Uh, you might not know the guy, but how crazy is that insane? He didn't even tell me. That. He told me in confidence, but it wasn't enough in confidence. Yeah, this is like something you should tell like your best He's probably friend. Probably a big fan of the podcast. He's like, no, <laughs> <laughs> I stopped. Look, I stopped. <laughs> Look, no, <laughs> dude. How is that crazy though? Yeah, it's yeah, insane. It was nuts, dude. Yeah, I, I, if someone told me that, I'd feel like. I'd be pissed that they told me. Yeah, no. It was, I go, don't put, don't get me out of your fucking fucked up life. It was get, that get type that of thing. I was like, I don't want to know this. Dude. I don't want to know this. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, I don't know. Don't tell me that. I'm not an accessory to a crime, am I? No. I've never seen the videos. No. But I know the, guy's, <laughs> the guy was doing it. <laughs> the guy was definitely doing it. <clears throat> well, you think if your girlfriend killed someone, you would, uh, would you rat on her? Definitely. I'd <laughs> snitch on her in a moment. <laughs> dude. That would. Oh, because not how, a question. Okay, how much jail time do you think you do for not snitching? Too much if I do any at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen days, I'd be pissed. Do you think jail would be that bad? I think I could for me, I'm prison. Gorgeous. <laughs> I'd I be the bell of the ball. <laughs> I think at a certain point, prison is just hanging with the boys. Uh, I mean, you are just lifting weights, playing basketball, reading, and eating. Yeah, but also, aren't you getting like stabbed and raped? No, you don't get. My buddy went to prison. He said there's no rape. He said the gay guys are just gay. He said that's a uh, misconception. Mm. He said the gay guys are gay with each other. Sounds like he was raping. No, <laughs> dude, I swear there's like no rape at all. Like everyone who did it with was like so into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said the gay guys are gay with each other, and then he the only yeah, thing he said was real was he was like the pedophiles get killed. Oh, he said the pedophiles, the chomos, get, the chomos get fully killed. Whoa, chomos get killed. But if you go to, if you went to prison for like a white collar crime and you're not a chomo, you think you'd have that bad of a time? If I was in like club fed, probably be chill. <laughs> Damn. Probably be chill as hell. You'd have, we'd have to, you'd, you'd for sure have to join the Aryan Brotherhood. I don't even know if they'd let me in. No, you, they'd let you in. Think buddy. so? Come on, man, don't say that about yourself. <laughs> you could be in the Aryan Brotherhood. You think so? Just like I'm Italian. Yeah, I, I don't think they like Italians. Well, they we joined up and not we. I said we. Good lord! Um, World War Two. Yeah, World War Two. We joined up. We joined you, up. You and the Italians. Me and the Italians. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like already in the Aryan Brotherhood yeah. in my mind. I'm like, yeah, we'd let you in. <laughs> nah, yeah, they definitely have to let me in, dude. Yeah, they, my buddy's saying you got to join a gang. So if you're white, you got to join the Aryan Brotherhood. Yeah, and he said nobody gets raped, and they do kill pedophiles. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you know it's just shooting hoops, right? <laughs> I don't know how bad it is. Yeah, I don't know. I saw a guy say uh, he was in prison, and then I, there's actually this really good documentary that uh, Richard Linklater just made. I went on a little Linklater mm-hmm. uh, kick the other day. It's about the prison system in Huntsville, Alabama? Texas. Alabama? No, I think it's Huntington, Texas. Hunt something, Texas. But it's his hometown. Um, it's great. Uh, and... What's it called? It's a new thing. It's uh, just got out on Netflix. Twenty one years. It's called. Oh, it's old. No, look up. Uh, look up. Uh, <laughs> Prison. God save Texas. Uh, it's called God save Texas. I forget the name of the town where he's from, but this town is like it's like three hours east 
of Austin, and it's like uh, it's like a prison town. It's like the f- the federal or not federal the state this Texas state prisons seven of them are in this town, and it's like the whole town's like economy. Yeah, you know. And there was a guy talking about prison, right? And he was saying something to the effect of like, "It's really not that different than like being outside." I was like, "I was like, that's crazy." Yeah, I mean, he was kind of drawing comparisons. I was like, "I guess it's not that different." It's probably super different, but like, you don't do that many things now. And no, prison would be horrible. I'd kill myself in two seconds. You think so? I thirty six hours. I'd blast my own brains out. I'd, I'd be so I'd, sad. I think I could handle it, dude. I, don't think <laughs> I think it's kind of hanging with bullshit. <laughs> No beers. That's no us. beers. No beers is brutal. For Jacking me. off. You can't even jack off by yourself. The yeah. lack of privacy and the lack of fucking freedom, dude. You'd be horrible. Yeah, you got a buddy. He you get, get to have sex with him. Yeah, dude. These are the boys. <laughs> yeah, these are the boys you're talking about, boys. dude. You think any of these guys would be fun to hang with, dude? This is brutal. You don't think any of these guys are funny? <laughs> dude, that guy with the sunglasses is for sure funny. He's a riot. That guy that- on the right is hilarious. What is this outfit? He's definitely... Looks these like guys are like hilarious. Street fighter. No, these guys, they like to joke around, dude. I feel like they <laughs> wouldn't make me giggle. No? Yeah. Dude, there's a guy in my building. He, <laughs> he, he was a Nazi? <laughs> no. I, I wish. I wish. No, uh, <laughs> he, uh, dude, he's this old guy that rides his bike. Every time mm. I go to the elevator with him, he just starts a pussy joke. Yeah? Yeah, he just opens it. He's like, uh... uh <laughs> like, yeah, he opens up the pussy joke. Do you joke. remember any? Oh, fuck, no. I don't remember. They're like street jokes about women's pussies. <laughs> Hell Pubes yeah, and shit. Yeah. That's Love great. that kind of stuff. Yeah, he loves Pubes, it. Pubes, pussies, balls. Yeah. Assholes, dicks. <laughs> Autumn's always like, he's a dirty old man. Uh, like no, the, the funniest guys are dirty old men. They're hilarious. Dude. Yeah. This guy opens with, he goes, why do you got to eat a woman's pussy from the back? <laughs> like, <laughs> I get in the elevator at like 10 in the morning. Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way you can smell her ass. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Like it, he opens with that, and he's like in his full cycling outfit. <laughs> That's so he's weird. He got his bike. How old is he? Like sixty three. Oh, okay, he's not too too old. No, I was imagining like a eighty year old man. Nah, he's like a senior, just he's not to fringe senior citizen. Yeah, now. he's an elderly man. Opens with pussy jokes, and yeah. he knows I like him now because he kills me every time. <laughs> Nothing but neck, dude. <laughs> he's always been. Making you laugh? Dude, he's the Bernie Mac of the elevator. <laughs> he's been crushing me every time. So every oh, yeah. time he knows, he goes, hey, <laughs> why don't you eat a girl's pussy when she's on her period? Like, he starts yeah. like, every time he oh, opens yeah. with that. I'm like, this guy fucking rules. That's sick, dude. We gotta be, we gotta become dirty old men someday. Not I don't like, want to be dirty. Oh, I love Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> why don't you just go to church, dude? I don't believe in that fucking God stuff, but You're so close. Dude, I know. I'm like Russ Cole, dude. You kind of are. I'm like Russ Cole, man. Door lying, then murders. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you've been sending me... Uh, Chris Door been lying, sending, then Chris, murders. I've been telling everybody this. Chris has been sending me... He'll send me... <laughs> Christoph yeah. will send me a really shitty stand-up clip, <laughs> and then after he sends a screenshot with the caption... Of the scene in True Detective where he goes, if you get the opportunity, you should kill yourself. <laughs> I just love the idea of like someone who's really bad at comedy. You just pull them aside after their set and whisper to him, if you get the, op- if you get the opportunity, you should kill yourself. If you get the opportunity, you should kill yourself. <laughs> Dude, I sent that to like five people. It's just been like, Christoph sends this to me yeah. after sending me a really shitty scene. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves it. Yeah, prison's not nice to people who hurt kids. If you get the opportunity, you should kill yourself. If you get the opportunity, you should kill yourself. <laughs> prison's not nice to people who do bad crowd work. <laughs> you get the opportunity, you should kill yourself. People don't like people who post clips like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you get the opportunity, you should kill yourself. <laughs> Dude, I love that show. Yeah, it's I great. can't like I'm like kind of addicted to it. I've been I, I went down a rabbit hole with the director of season one, yeah. the writer uh, Nick, Nick Palazzo. Yeah, Palazzo, nice Paisan. He's, like, he's yeah. like a real. Oh, is he? He's like an asshole. <laughs> he's like kind of known to be an asshole. I liked all of his his interviews. He uh, no, he's a smart guy, but he's like known to just shit on stuff out of the blue and like just kind of be a curmudgeon. Yeah, this guy's. What did he say about the new season? Dude, that was funny? so funny he what hates he says. It. He's yeah. A, what did he say? So stupid. Yeah, he like responded to like an Instagram thread where he's like, "That shit is so dumb." It's uh, it would be Instagram. Yeah, I can't stop posting about the True Detective Night Country. <laughs> oh, you know whoever wrote this article hates that he said that. Yeah, do you like fair? Control F so stupid or something like that. Uh, we'll never know. But the, I swear he's like so dumb. LOL. <laughs> wait, wait, scroll up. Hold on, wait, I got. True. 
It wasn't a tweet, though. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, season four of True Detective Rock, but it's probably hard for you to see because you're blinded by your horrible misogyny and massive ego. Of course, anyone who doesn't like the show must be a misogynist, and I have a small penis <laughs> and something, something, my patriarchy. Nobody job. cares about your opinion policing, you broken this misandrist. You broken baby. Oh, dude, this Brain guy's the man. Misandrist. This guy's the man. He's cooking right now. Holy hell. This guy's not an asshole at all. I love him. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's here not. It is. Oh, what is this? Do you still have the. Can S- you zoom in? Yeah, I can't see that. Oh, yeah, he just goes stupid. <laughs> What does it say? Uh, do you still have the S1 lore document? It used to be around on Google talking about how the Tuttles have a local construction business. Apparently, they fund an Arctic science research station now. Haha, ha, so stupid. <laughs> Dude, this guy rules. And then he says, I certainly did not have any put input on the story or anything else. Can't blame me. <laughs> it is. Dude, Night Country was so bad. I, I didn't even watch it. Dude, I, I had like I watched all of it like in a hate watch way that was almost enjoyable. There's something bad about it that I really liked. Yeah. Because they all it's something funny about destroying something great. Well, it's like woke and supernatural simultaneously. Yeah, right? it's like not even that wokey really. I mean it's just like bad. Like it's not even like really in your face with like woke stuff too much. There's some little shit about like natives in Alaska that's a little bit in there. But like it's like who cares? Those people aren't even real. I think that Hollywood made them up. <laughs> this is my conspiracy theory. Dude, Inuit people, not real. I told you I'm agnostic about germs. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is, a, this is not a real take. I'm kind take. of like an atheist. This is not a real take. I, I haven't seen them. Can't dude. Be, I haven't seen them. <laughs> kind of like an you're atheist. Just, you're, pulling, I mean, you're yanking my chain I'm here. a germ atheist. Dude, do you, I haven't seen them. I've seen dirt. Do you believe in viruses? I mean, which virus? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I was just going to say, explain that to the AIDS in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> which viruses? <laughs> no, you, 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 um, no, you you believe it. What germs? You're yanking my chain here. Germs? Dude, I mean, you can't be this dumb. I believe in germs, dude. It's just <laughs> it's not a belief. It's like saying I believe in the sun. I believe in germs. You don't believe in them. It's like saying you believe in air. But I'm not going to be scared of something I've never seen. (laughs) I'm not saying to be scared of them. You're scared of them. Well, I uh, well I have a hypochondriac impulse. I think is wrong. You're scared of something you've never seen. I think it's silly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared of Puerto Ricans. You're a germ feeling man. (laughs) Germ feeling man. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I just anxiety. I have a. I'm not even like really germophobia. I'm just like fucking. I'm a germ fearing man. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm fucking germ. Got to grab a doorknob with a handkerchief. <laughs> it's not even that, dude. It's like fucking. I just yeah. It's like I said. It's like if I have like a pinch in my neck, I think I have HIV. Like it's like some crazy thought, you know? Yeah. It's like I oh my bladder. Like I peed a lot this month. Maybe I have diabetes. Like I did have. Like to that. be honest, I did have that with. Uh, I had a nagging. It felt like someone was pressing on the back of my head with two fingers in the same spot all the time. And I was like, I have a brain tumor. And then I went to uh, the ER and they did all these tests and they were like. Did you have COVID? And I was like, yeah, they're like, it's definitely long COVID. I'm like, dude, you had long COVID? Insanely gay, dude. You had a girl disease. I know, it is a girl disease. You had a girl disease. No, dude, it was a tumor. (laughs) (laughs) It was a tumor, dude. I have four different forms of autoimmune disorder. I gotta be the only. (laughs) I have lupus. (laughs) I have Crohn's. I have long COVID. (laughs) That's you, dude. You're such a chick. You ever see that woman that's like tired? What? Oh fuck! What was the? You told me Lyme disease. No, there's Lyme disease. Lyme disease. You were saying, dude. There's this video of this chick with long COVID, and like her husband has to like quit his. This is so stupid. It sounds totally made up. So it's like a apartment hunter thing. Like um, the guy who interviews people on the street, and he goes, "What do you pay for rent? Oh, eight thousand. They go back to this guy's house, and he has like this like lame woman who's was like his wife and he's like all sad and he like hit. that's so funny he's like how much you pay for rent he's like $15,000 a month yeah uh, we have a loft in Tribeca you want to see it and dude literally and she's like I'm just like groggy she's like the cold yeah I mean it'd be really difficult to- oh it's this guy it's this guy do you want right, to skip ahead a little bit dude yeah, no 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 just, just how long is it just a minute and a half oh that's fine blast it do you turn the volume turn the, there's yeah, no- sorry Oh, sound what? Weird. Fuck. What? Oh, learn facts about COVID nineteen. What? Let me see if there's like a YouTube version. Yeah, go to uh, yeah. Opinion. My life with long COVID. The New York Downtown Times City is really such a fucking yeah. goddamn disgrace. 
Um, damn, dude, no sound sucks. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Caleb, uh, it's all good. Damn, dude. But the guy literally has a fortune from like. Okay. There's it. Yeah. A strange question. Yes. Right? It doesn't really matter because we're actually about to move because we can't afford it. My wife lost her job. She got long COVID. Can I get a tour of your current apartment? She lost her job. This is your backyard. Look at this place. Wow. This is sick. I didn't know this existed in New York. Can I try some? So what is this? It's called food paint. Yeah, it's like you put it on yeah. pancakes instead of maple syrup. It's healthier than maple syrup. It's actually not bad. This is currently available in Walmart. Well, here's the fireplace. There's very few apartments that I go in that I'm like, oh yeah. What does every kitchen need? It needs a bathroom in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, there's upstairs. Yeah, that's cool. Deep inside. Uh, Whoa. Okay, everybody comment below what you think about this 16-year-old's room. This is our bedroom. <laughs> so this is the master suite. Weird. Is that a uh, fish tank? <laughs> Fish tank, yeah. Fish Everybody tank, comment fish below, fish. what do you think? Hi, so you said she's been sick from sheet. COVID for Dude, over Dude, look, she's like years. on the lawn. Going, but it's been crazy. Look, <laughs> <laughs> she has to sit outside. Why is she out? It's good chronic fatigue. It's like six, eight, nine month long periods where she hasn't been able to get out of bed. We're rocking it, right? I mean, yeah. like, we've all had to live, have to work around this. People are tough. Kids are tougher than you give them credit for, right? So we're just getting on with it. Let's go. Dude, <laughs> dude, and his job was that he invented Crayola food paint. Dude, if long COVID makes you lose your job, that's like a natural selection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it should it's also make you lose you. your life. Yeah, no, <laughs> and no. your ability to reproduce. No, dude, if, you, if you are, lo- if you are, can't go to work. Dude, she's like, because of long she's COVID. She's in the sun, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to me. But she's just frying in the sun, like. I still can't smell anything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything so... tastes like kick <laughs> It's just so funny to me, dude. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> she was a market. I read the thing. She like worked at a marketing firm. He owns like Crayola finger paint. And they live in this ridiculous apartment. I love he's like, and he's you like we're losing it because you don't you're, how tough. my wife got shit with long COVID, and now we got now we're on the fucking streets. Dude, I love he's like you don't underestimate how tough the human experience is. How tough the human spirit is. Oh my god, dude. I'm like, dude, I'm your like, wife is sun baking. She's been laying in the sun for seven months, <laughs> unemployed dude. because she got COVID, dude. <laughs> what are you talking I'm about? In, I've no. never heard of a normal. I've never heard of a working class person getting long COVID. No. No, no. It's not. always like some journalist on Twitter. Like I've never seen a normal human being, like a guy who makes forty grand a year working in a fucking factory somewhere. Dude. Like, yep, got long COVID. Dude. I got to sit out in the sun now. <laughs> yeah, I'm thirty eight. Can't make it to the construction site. Today. Sorry, boys, I got long COVID. Yeah, I got chronic fatigue syndrome. <laughs> 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 yep, fibromyalgia's kicking up. Can't come to the well today. Sorry, can't finish building the well. <laughs> They're like, what's wrong? He's like, feel a bit uh, drowsy. A little <laughs> off. I just, a little uh, out of it. If I'm being honest with you, Hank, I just don't feel like myself. <laughs> really, I would say my energy dude, levels are 30% lower than usual. It's such a fake, white, rich person problem. Dude, that's... Oh, my God. These people. <laughs> These, These be people. Taken out behind a shed. Yeah, no, that's, that's natural. Just, stuff. like, put them down like a donkey. It's like supposed to take donkey. people out, dude. Okay, this, that, that maybe it's harsh. I feel bad about saying that. What, shoot her in the head? Maybe, no, yeah, it's maybe a bit far. What, old, old Yeller, this lady? Yeah, maybe we shouldn't old Yeller. I'll finish right. it for <laughs> you, dude. It's Old Yeller, this even lady. That's a little jokey joke. I feel a little guilty about that one. <laughs> I think we should shoot the lady in the head. She has long we have long COVID. COVID. <laughs> dude, the China, there's no way. That, by no the way, Chinese people ever got long COVID. <laughs> that's, or that's what they're doing in China. Yeah. Is old yellering people with long COVID. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Dude, that, wrong COVID. There's no. Can't no, get wrong COVID, no. dude. <laughs> no. Can't get wrong COVID. No, you can't get wrong COVID. Dude, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is RK. This we is totally to RK. <laughs> you have like, a wrong COVID? Get, the, the Chinese don't get it. Yeah. It's yeah. just little bitches in Brooklyn. Yeah. Little gay, little Crayola painters. Yeah. It appears the only people who have gotten long COVID are... <laughs> yeah, giant, it's susceptible for giant pussies. Yeah, for uh, huge bitches. <laughs> sit on their terrace for hours. Uh, massive whiny babies yeah. that need to sit in the sun. Oh, you can't go to your marketing job. I bet that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too sick to market. Dude, I felt like RFK, Not dude. marketing shape. I feel like RFK. Yeah? Because I got fucking... 
got target on my back <laughs> no because <laughs> dude i woke up monday dude. morning like fully laryngitis yeah crazy wrong covid yeah i got wrong covid <laughs> you get wrong covid i literally i woke up wrong covid and i was like i couldn't speak without like yelping it was crazy damn dude in the first like couple hours of waking up i had like the most painful sore throat i've ever had and uh that was it that was the only symptom i wasn't like really sick but my throat was just so scratchy Did and it? i was literally like oh, baby, you, 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 you. you just went full rfk i went full rfk dude i was like <laughs> the spike proteins <laughs> they don't know you got <laughs> <laughs> he's been cooking dude no he's been in the booth <laughs> <laughs> dude, didn't he rap yeah, he did like the intro to a rap song. Dude, he's... <laughs> he goes, As, I, I kind of want to just play it. Standing on business. Yeah, standing on business. <laughs> he was standing on business. Before we start this. Wait, no, this is too long. Yeah, this is no, too long. No, look, look on his Twitter. The Hill said, standing on business, RFK's new strategy to make good with black voters. Do they know that? Or are they just... <laughs> Some of these like woke publications are just straight racist sometimes. Yeah, yeah, You'll yeah. You'll see them literally be like, He's uh, Biden's eating chicken. You know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you, I mean, hot sauce in her pocket. No, that was it. But that's the goat. That's the goat moment, dude. That's that was so funny. I got it. Go on his Twitter. Hip hop icons. Which ones? Literally, yeah, just click on his Twitter. Just click on his Twitter. I'm telling you, you just go to media and then scroll down. You go to meet. Oh boy, oh brother. You don't have a Twitter? Come on, Joe. Come Jax. on, man. You got this. Is that really your password? I love sucking cock 69. <laughs> God damn. Robert. You have to do Robert. How does it compare to the Ben Shapiro rap? Oh, it's just him doing like an intro to a thing. He doesn't like. Uh, you keep. Whoa, is this what this media looks like now? This is confusing. There it is. I saw it. Where? Go up. Right. Bang. Yeah. And I'll say it first so you can get a feel. This is the scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Robert F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> you don't have to believe the lies. <laughs> you don't have to take sides. You can help me heal the divide. As President of the United States, I'll be standing on business <laughs> and helping the community. <laughs> if you see somebody hungry, try to get them something to eat. If you see somebody lonely, you should try to be their peace. Southern hospitality, tell people that you love them. And that gon' make a better sister and better brother. We all got a purpose, and you find it when you struggle. Can't worry about who ain't with us. We got each other. We black and beautiful. Question is, do they deserve us? Looking for change in the community to serve us. Boost. Community server. <laughs> Community <laughs> server. <Dude, yeah. laughs> so all my family's dead and these fuckers are still alive. <laughs> I just want him to do more black <laughs> slang. How did my dad get outlived by Boozy Bad? <laughs> boozy Bad. I love Lil Boozy. Yeah, dude. yeah, I love Lil Boozy. <laughs> my uncle John was outlived by sexy rat. <laughs> <laughs> I just want him to say more stuff. <laughs> that, that was fucking great. I'll be standing on business. I'll be standing on business. And then he goes, and helping the community. <laughs> <laughs> helping the community. Be helping the community. <laughs> that was ridiculous. It's, so, it's funny. It was cute they included him. This is the scariest thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and his family's all been assassinated. <laughs> it's like, you know, it, it doesn't compare to hopping the booth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You Spitting know, bars is way scarier than you know when the CIA kills your entire family. That's difficult, but not as difficult as having to spit a sweet six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to wrap it? Are we done? Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll be done, dude. We'll, I'm, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I ate an apple and a protein bar. <laughs> Sounds okay. You know I, I saying, ate a little bit. Of you food. know what I was saying? What? A little Taiwanese pork chop. <laughs> a little TPA. <laughs> no, they're always like clothes at the weirdest times. Hey, shout out to the Weeglings. We love you. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, thanks, dude. Sorry, I was just checking what date this will come out. All my shows are done. Okay. I'm done. We're in hopefully Austin. Hopefully you went to see Chris off. Yeah, hopefully if you saw me in the Midwest, thanks for coming out. We'll be in shows Austin. Were, the, the shows show. were awesome. Yeah, they were amazing. <laughs> dude, those some of the best. Dude, Kansas City, holy shit. Bro, I blew the motherfucking roof down. <laughs> I killed so hard. <laughs> come see us in Austin. Dude. Yeah, come see us. We're yeah, going to be at a million shows. message. All right, bye-bye. I love you.